We've had our taste of colder weather, so maybe you've already dusted off your favorite chili recipe. Yeah, we've been trading some this morning, and now I'm in the mood, even though it's still warm outside. But in this morning's Daybreak Rewind, you will definitely be put in the mood as Chris Sadeke took a look through archived WFA footage at the SMU Jones Film Library from West Texas and found Texans may take our chili dishes a little <laughs> too seriously. Each November, they descend. One would think that it would be easy to spot 10,000 people in the middle of nowhere. Upon a West Texas ghost town in a land that can be described as... What some call a sort of grotesque beauty, and others call just another crummy desert so desolate that lizards crawl through campfires to cool their feet. But if you think the desert's hot... Wait till you get a taste. He makes armadillo chili, serving it to him out of a fresh armadillo shell. Every year since 1967, a championship chili cook-offs held in Terlingua, Texas. There's razorback chili, cowboy chili, brag chili, two-alarm chili, and chili laced with rattlesnake, armadillo, lizard, pork, beef, lamb, and who knows what all. But did you notice what he didn't say? But never, never beans. Because chili crimes carry Wild West consequences. For those bandits who try and steal the votes. The ballot box has been stolen by masked desperados. But it's only cheating if you get caught. And, uh, one judge wasn't going to vote for me, so I gave him some of his other guy's chili. So he changed his mind real quick. He's still sick. He didn't make it here. And when the dust settles, there's not much left to do except eat the stuff, guzzle beer, or maybe chase a rabbit or fall down an abandoned mine shaft. Who thought chili could be such chaos? In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegi. Ironic at all that chili is hot, but you only eat it in chilly weather, maybe? Yeah, you know, I will tell you, I've judged a chili competition before. Mm -hmm. I, it's so subjective. You know, how can you really vote on the best chili out there? Well, you know, if you're starting with the beans debate, then that can go ahead and separate the good from the bad pretty quick. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You put those in the bad category right away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep weighing in on our poll this morning. Let us know good or bad when it comes to beans. Uh, Yolanda says, kidney black beans and pinto beans go in my chili, and it's delicious. Some people would call that a stew, Yolanda. Mm -hmm. uh, Carla says, yes to beans, kidney and or pinto, and angel hair pot. Pasta. What? Okay. All right. What? What? What are we calling oh, chili? Anymore? It's like the chili in Cincinnati, where yeah. they actually you're gonna, you're use throwing pasta. cinnamon in that as, as well. <laughs> a little cinnamon. Yes. <laughs> We're not looking for a three-way here. We're looking for chili. That's what they yeah. call it up in Cincinnati. Yeah. Okay. Pit